All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Brad Sang, and today we'll be doing 12115 Team 10. It's a middle school test, and yeah, it's the last question on the team round. So you'd expect it to be pretty difficult, but I mean, not quite. So what do we have here? We have how many ordered pairs of non-negative integers x comma y satisfy the equation 2x plus 3y squared is equal to 20, 20. And so uh, this is just a simple counting problem, right? You just want to count the total number of non-negative integers that satisfy this. So, I mean, you can just do the basic thing, right? Where you can just count all of them. So you can just be like, oh, what if x is zero? If x is zero, then, well, what is y? Then three y squared is equal to 20, 20. And then y squared is equal to 20, 20 over three. You have a calculator, you can do that, but I mean, you'll figure out that 2020 is divisible by three just by looking at and using your divisibility rules. So uh, obviously this isn't gonna be a good strategy, right? Just like to count it all. So we need to like organize our counting in some way. And so first trick that you'll wanna know is that whenever you see something like this, you wanna count it in like an easier way if possible, right? If I told you, okay, if X is equal to three, is there a Y such that uh, an integer y so is satisfied, well, that's hard to figure out, right? So um, instead, let's approach from the opposite way, right? If I told you, okay, if y is four, right? If y equals four, then is there an x such that this is satisfied? Well, you can find one pretty easily, right? You'll, I'm pretty sure x is equal to 986 satisfies it. And so if you just try it out, right? You'll find that if you plug in y first, it's a lot easier to find an x. So always first start counting, on the variable that's easier to identify, right? So let's so, so let's start with y, right? If y equals zero, uh, x is equal to 10, 10. If y is equal to one, then what? Then two x is equal to 2017. And I mean, you can clearly see that 2017 is even, so it doesn't work, right? If y equals two, then you can do the same thing. You have a calculator. So then you'll get that x is equal to 1004. You can just keep doing this, right? But again, this is like a little too much listing. You'll have a lot of time in a team round, but you want to get this done faster. So let's see what else we can do, right? Well, now instead, right, we can just say, okay, let's pick Y. Then you know that 2X is equal to 2020 20 minus 3Y squared, and X is equal to 20, 20 minus 3Y squared all over 2. So now what do we have? We now have that. Uh, we have a formula for x. When we pick a y, then we can easily find an x using this formula. So this also tells us something else, right? If y is an integer, then in order for x to be an integer, y has to be even, right? Let's say y equals 2u for some of you, right? Then 20, 20 minus 3 times 2u squared all over 2. This just equals to 10, 10 minus uh, 6u squared for some integer u, since we know why it has to be even. And so now this is extremely simplified, right? If we have, we have, no, we have to pick a u, right? Which gives us our y. And using this, we can easily find an x. And so now what u's are possible? Well, if x has to be a non-negative integer, then this has to be non-negative. So you'll also have that six u squared is less than or equal to 10, 10, in order for that to be negative. So now we're just counting the non-negative integers uh, u, such that 6u squared is less than or equal to 10, 10. Well, now you can just do some even more simplifying tricks, right? Divide by 6 on both sides, u squared is equal to, uh, is at most um, 167, 68. Either way, right? Then you can basically, now that you have this, what you can just do is, well, now what are we doing? We're counting all the u greater than zero, or greater than u equals zero such that the square is at most 168. Well, now that's pretty easy, right? You know all your squares. So you have zero, u is equal to zero, one, two, and all the way up to 12, because u squared is less than 168. So then now you just have 13 numbers. So there are 13 values of y. Uh, and each value of y gives you exactly one corresponding value of x. So it, you just have 13 by 13 ordered pairs of non negative x comma y that satisfy this. So notice how we went from like, okay, p and x and like trying to get a y 
of which I mean, like you could have 10, uh, 1,011 different values of X to just being like, okay, what are the number of perfect squares less than or equal to uh, 168? And so we just transformed this problem that's very complicated counting. And by organizing the way and thinking of how we can count it more efficiently, we just say, okay, it's a much simpler problem when you look at it. Hi everybody, this is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.